Welcome to this week's episode of Now Loading. I'm Death Banquished. And I'm BioMonkey. This week is going to be about E3. And I'm Big Ant. We told Dan that we were recording today. It wasn't me. Then how did he know we were recording tonight? I don't know. He works for Kona's Corner now. I think I game Xbox told him. You guys know it's rude to talk about me when I'm standing right here, right? Nobody cares, Ant. <laughs> what are you looking at? I don't know. A new co-host, maybe? Fuck yeah, you are. table discussion on E3. You know this isn't a table. Touch your face. We're discussing E3, not tables. Death English, what do you think of the press briefings and E3 as a whole? Meh. Intriguing. And would you like to weigh in? Sure. You know, I bought an Xbox when it was called a video game console, not a media console. I don't want to have to have hundreds of apps. I have a phone for that. Interesting. Death? Look, it's nice to have more options on what to use your Xbox for. But it's not an option when you force me to pay for this extra content. Explain? Last year, we were told that the price of Xbox Live had to rise due to the fact that Xbox Live was no longer just about games. It's now about the extra content you have to have access to. But what if I don't want to have access to these apps? Can I pay for an option that costs less? No. Right. This is why I get mad when Microsoft shows off a bunch of products that I don't use. Not because I don't use them, but because I'm charged for them even if I don't. <laughs> How dare you change Sam Fisher's voice! What? what? Who are you? An outraged fan that demands answers! Do you own any shares on Ubisoft? No. Do you have a lot of money that you're looking at investing? Hmm. Do you work for a reasonably popular indie website? Reasonably? No. Are you even a fan of the Splinter Cell franchise? Well, I played the Chaos Theory demo and Conviction. Um, yeah, get out of my sight. I will not be silent! Security, security. Watch dogs looks awesome. Don't fuck it up like you did with I Am Alive. On to the next topic. So, who do you guys think uh, won E3? Do you mean who won the 100 meter dash? The kid with Asperger's or the kid with cerebral palsy? Wow. Well, I think Ubisoft won E3 this year. With titles like Watch Dogs and the strong showing that Assassin's Creed 3 had, Ubisoft had a great year at E3. You know what, I'm only going to agree with that because everyone else's shows were so horrible. Sony's was okay. Up until they spent 20 minutes on the Wonder Book. That's why I said it was okay. I do feel bad for Nintendo. It's like they are so disconnected from real gamers. Maybe that'll allow them to keep their image and actually do better because of it. I don't see that happening. But ending their show in Nintendo Land was a total joke. And not releasing any specifics on the Wii U launch date or price was a bummer. The only thing they did show was a black version of the Wii U. I hear the black one's bigger than the white one. Guten Tag, welcome to the Crytek booth. Have you had the opportunity to play Crisis 3? Uh, no, no. Actually, I don't feel like playing another shell of the original Crisis. That's funny because you play Crisis 3 in a shell. Oh yeah. 
I assure you, Crisis 3 does have several open environments when you can sneak around and take out multiple enemies any way you want. If you know that's what people want to see, why didn't you show it at E3? Awesome rhyme. Completely unintentional. Anyway, I just saw that after you finish with your current projects, you're going to be finished with retail titles? Right. We feel that the free-to-play model works well on the PC and would like to focus our efforts on that. Why? We feel that milking customers to death with DLC and early releases isn't very satisfying. With free-to-play games, aren't you still milking customers to death with hundreds of weapons that you have to buy with real-world money? <laughs> well, yes, but that's their option as the customer. You do know that with a free-to-play game, you have to cut back on graphics, right? In order for non-hardcore gamers with basic PCs to get sucked into your game, right? Yeah, as a developer of the Crytek engine, it doesn't seem right that you would stunt your own development to get a bigger user base to your free-to-play games. We're German. We don't have a history of making much sense. You did invent the Wiener Schnitzel. Apparently, Activision announced that there will be no Call of Duty XP event this year. Any thoughts on that? Who gives a shit? It's a bomb. 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 It's